Welcome to episode 133 of the Guitar Builders Basics video podcast. Luthiers, tips, tricks, and training from me, Ben Crow, at Crimson Guitars. Now, I'm going to go straight into it. This is a question from Nathaniel Lindley on YouTube. Um, and at first, I, I thought this was a little bit too, too basic of a question uh, to cover. But then, yeah, frankly, why the hell not? If somebody's asked it, we'll answer. Um, and I don't mean to offend anybody by saying that. <sighs> he says, I have a question. Uh, I built a Telecaster body and bought a neck. Uh, I'm not sure where to put the string trees on the headstock. Will it change the intonation of the guitar if they're not in the right place? Um, basically, I'm... It's not actually about... So the reason I'm doing this, this question is that I want to say what string trees are for. And they have nothing to do with the intonation whatsoever at all. Um, the intonation is 100% set by the distance between your nut and your saddle at the bridge. Okay? So that's a physical, that's your intonation. The thing that changes that intonation point is the gauge of string that you have. Um, and also actually the action. You know, if you've got a, a high action, the intonation will be out of the nut, etc. So it can, there can be some chopping and changing with, with regards to that. Um, the string trees are all about tension. And in that, um, because of that, it doesn't really make too much of a difference uh, where they go. You can always, if it's too close to the nut, uh, it might bind, for example, on a, on a flat uh, headstock like a, like a fender. Um, and if it's too far away, you won't get very much of a, a break angle. Basically, what it's doing is adding a break angle into an, a neck that doesn't have a break angle, uh, or at least it doesn't have a very big break angle. Now, the, the theory behind it is quite straightforward, actually. You don't want a very large angle on your strings if you are using a tremolo system. Okay? You want 9 degrees break angle or less. And whether that is a, a break angle on a, uh, a headstock that actually has an angle in it, or the break angle on the strings that are going down to a tuner, um, the more even you can get the angle, the more even the tension is across the strings and it will make the instrument feel more homogenous and, and, and basically better to play, uh, in my opinion. Um, also, if you've got that low angle, it allows the strings to travel through the nut as you use your trim. Um, or should I say vibrato. Um, so, so yeah, the, the string trees are basically there to, to even out the tension of your strings across the instrument and to make it feel more comfortable, but also give you enough tension. A lot of instruments um, uh, with that type of headstock, if they've got the wrong, if they're made wrong, but well, even not, if the nut's cut wrong, for example, and you've only got a very, very uh, shallow slot, you often find that, uh, that it, the, the higher two strings will just jump out of the nut, and you've got a big issue there. String trees will push them down, give a slightly bigger angle, and you won't have that trouble anymore. Uh, now, there is also the question of tone, that much vaunted creature that we all <laughs> search for and argue about ad infinitum. Uh, more tension on a string changes the tone somewhat. And uh, experiment. If you have a, that type of instrument and want to have a play, um, pluck a string with the string tree pushed right down and uh, measure it in an oscilloscope or something like that. I don't even know if that's the correct machine. Ah, anyway. Um, and then take the string tree off entirely, tune the string back up to, ten, to, to tune, and then see what difference is made. It's not going to be gigantic, but it will have a difference. So, uh, so anyway, that is what string trees are for. It's all about tension, a little bit about tone, but it's mostly about feel. And in the end, an instrument that feels comfortable to play, whether you know why it feels comfortable to play or not, 
is more important. It's, it's, you know, the, the comfort, the feel is, is the most important thing in the world. Now I'm going to have to go and shout at an apprentice and uh, I've just spotted something at the back of the camera and I will speak to you soon. Click like, click subscribe, have an awesome day and argue in the comments below. Goodbye.